Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. One of the great mysteries of the Vietnam War era has been solved. In 1971, a group of peace activists broke into an FBI office in Media, Pennsylvania, and lifted files that helped reveal the FBI's elaborate program of illegally spying on political groups. The documents, given to journalists at the time, provided the first hints of COINTELPRO, the FBI's secret program to infiltrate, monitor and disrupt social movements. The burglars called themselves the Citizens Commission to investigate the FBI. They were never caught. But decades later, a number of them are coming forward for the first time. The idea for the burglary came from William Davidon, a physics professor and leader of civil disobedience against the Vietnam War. Davidon died last year. Also involved were a social worker named Bob Williamson and John and Bonnie Raines, a married couple with children. Convinced the FBI was infiltrating peace groups, they hatched a plan to stage the break-in on the night of a major championship boxing match. Another of the burglars, Keith Forsyth, described his motivation in a video produced by Retro Report. Once I got over the shock of thinking that this was the nuttiest thing I'd ever heard in my life, I'm like, this is a great idea because we're not going to make any allegations. We're going to take their own paperwork signed by their own people, including J. Edgar Hoover, and give it to the newspapers. So let's see you argue with that. I definitely see parallels between Snowden's case and our case. What we revealed changed public opinion, which is why the laws were changed. If revealing ourselves is going to get people arguing with each other about what the FBI did then and what the NSA is doing now, I think that's a good thing. Forsyth was arrested in a separate action months after the burglary by a group of FBI agents who were monitoring the raid of a draft office in Camden, New Jersey. His role in the burglary was never revealed until now. Ahead of the break-in, Bonnie Raines cased the FBI office while posing as a college student. While there, she confirmed the office lacked a security system. Raines describes her role in the video. I was to call the office and make an appointment as a Swarthmore student doing research on opportunities for women in the FBI. So they gave me an appointment. I tried to disguise myself as best I could, and I went to say goodbye, and I acted confused about where the door was, and that gave me a chance then to check out both rooms and know where the file cabinets were. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover assigned nearly 200 agents to investigate the burglary. In particular, they were told to hunt for the mysterious college girl who'd come to the office. But the case was closed when the statute of limitations expired five years later. The story is told in a new book by Betty Medsker, a former Washington Post reporter who received the documents from the burglars at the time. Three other burglars have chosen to remain anonymous. Record cold. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global grassroots news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org today. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.